So far we've recreated the flyout menu, mega menu, and mega menu plus descriptions tabs from the Uber menu demo site. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add images to your menu items so we can recreate the menu the mega menu plus images tab. So first, we'll go back to appearance menus. We've already got our mega menu plus images item. We'll expand the Uber menu options and see of course that we have the activate mega menu option checked. Then to add an image, we just click set thumbnail. Then we'll click select files. And then you just choose the image that you want to attach to this particular menu item. Click open. You can set the title because this will appear when you hover over that menu item. And then click use as featured image. It's important that you click use as featured image and not insert into post. Then click save all changes. And we can close this window. Save our menu. Then refresh the home page. And you'll see here's our menu item with an image, but the image isn't quite the right size. So we'll go to Appearances, Uber Menu. We'll go to the Descriptions Short, I'm sorry, we'll go to the Images tab. And here we can set our image width and image height. We can decide whether or not we want to resize the images. So by default, resizing the images is on. And it sets the width and height to 25 pixels. And that's the reason that our image is currently the wrong size. Um, because it's trying to scale those up. So in our case, in this case, all we have to do is disable resize images and then the image will be displayed at its natural uh, dimensions. So we'll save our settings. Refresh the home page. You'll see now our image is the right size. Now if we want to resize, we can also set the image width and the height to whatever we want. And we can choose whether or not we want to use Tim Thumb if it's on, it'll use the Tim Thumb script, and if it's off, it will just resize the image within the browser, but won't actually resize the image file itself. So next, I'm going to go ahead and add all the second and third level menu items under Mega Menu Plus Images and add images to them. I'm going to pause the video while I do this. So now that I have all my menu items added, for the men Mega Menu Plus Images submenu. I'll go ahead and set thumbnails for each of the third level menu items. Again, we're going to click Use as Featured Image. And I'm going to pause the video while I do the rest of these. Now that I've set a featured image for each of the third level menu items, I'll go back to the home page and refresh. You'll see we've got our icon next to each menu item. And that's how simple it is to add images to your menu items in Uber Menu. And you'll see that we've now recreated the Mega Menu Plus Images dropdown from the demo site. In the next video, we'll tackle the Uber menu drop down.